The NBA has banned Toronto Raptors player Jonte Porter for life after an internal investigation found that he placed bets on basketball and gave information to a better to improve their odds. The Porter fracas is the latest involving athletes and sports betting, as the gambling industry has exploded in recent years, and as such transactions have become increasingly accessible. It also follows a recent scandal centered on baseball superstar Shohei Otani's interpreter Ipe Mizuhara, who has been charged with taking $16 million from the athlete to cover gambling debts. Porter is the second person to be banned by Commissioner Adam Silver for violating league rules. The other was now former Los Angeles Clippers owner Donald Sterling in 2014, shortly after Silver took office. There is nothing more important than protecting the integrity of NBA competition for our fans, our teams, and everyone associated with our sport, which is why John Tay Porter's blatant violations of our gaming rules are being met with the most severe punishment, Silver said. The investigation began after the league was alerted by licensed sports betting operators and an organization that monitors legal betting markets to unusual betting patterns surrounding Porter's performance in a March 20th game against Sacramento. The league determined Porter disclosed his health status to a gambler before the game, and a known NBA better placed an $80,000 wager on a parlay that Porter wouldn't reach his projected stats. This bet would have paid out $1.1 million. Porter took himself out of that game after less than three minutes, claiming illness, none of his stats meeting the totals set in the parlay. The $80,000 bet was frozen and not paid out, the league said, and the NBA started an investigation not long afterward. The league U has partnerships and other relationships with more than two dozen gaming companies, many of whom advertise during NBA games in a variety of ways. Silver himself has been a long-team proponent of legal sports wagering, but the league has very strict rules for players and employees regarding betting. And what Porter was found to have done was in violation of the collective bargaining agreement, which states, any player who, directly or indirectly, wagers money or anything of value on any game or event in the association or in the NBA G League shall, on being charged with such wagering, be given an opportunity to answer such charges after due notice, and the decision of the commissioner shall be final, binding, and conclusive, and unappealable. Commissioner Silver foreshadowed this outcome last week, calling Porter's alleged actions a cardinal sin for the NBA. Porter has remained silent since the investigation started and hasn't played another game for the Raptors. The team listed him as out for personal reasons for the rest of the season. The league also determined that Porter, the brother of Denver Nuggets forward Michael Porter Jr., placed at least 13 bets on NBA games using someone else's betting account. The bets ranged from $15 to $22,000. The total wagered was $54,094 and generated a payout of $76,059, or net winnings of $21,965. The NBA clarified that Porter's personal bets didn't involve any games where he actually participated. However, it was revealed that three of his wagers were parlay bets, a type of bet that combines multiple predictions. Notably, one of these parlays included a losing bet on the Raptors, even though Porter wasn't playing in that game. All three of these parlay bets ultimately lost. While legal sports betting creates transparency that helps identify suspicious or abnormal activity, this matter also raises important issues about the sufficiency of the regulatory framework currently in place, including the types of bets offered on our games and players, Silver said. Working closely with all relevant stakeholders across the industry, we will continue to work diligently to safeguard our league and game. The 24-year-old Porter averaged 4.4 points, 3.2 rebounds, and 2.3 assists in 26 games, including five starts. He also played in 11 games for Memphis in the 2020-21 season. ESPN first reported the investigation, which it said surrounded Porter's performance in games on January 26th and March 20th. In both games, Porter played briefly before leaving citing injury or illness. Porter played 4 minutes 24 seconds against the Los Angeles Clippers in the first of those games, then 2.43 against Sacramento in the second game. In both of those games, Porter did not come close to hitting the prop wager lines for points, rebounds, and three-pointers that bettors could play at some sports books. For example, 
one set of prop wagers for Porter for the Clippers game was set at 5.5 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 1.5 assists. He finished with no points, three rebounds, and one assist. For the Kings game, they were around 7.5 points and 5.5 rebounds. Porter finished that game with no points and two rebounds. The league said its probe remains open and may result in further findings, and that those findings are being shared with federal prosecutors. Sports leagues, including the NBA, NFL, and NHL, actively work with licensed betting platforms to promote sports betting in exchange for a significant cut of the revenue. The NBA, for example, works with FanDuel and DraftKings as its sports betting partners and has integrated live betting during games into its app. The NFL, similarly, has formal sports betting partnerships. The Washington Commanders even host a sports betting hub in their stadium. It is everywhere around us in any sports programming we watch, says Villanova University sports law professor Andrew Brandt. Porter's case allows the NBA to argue that it can catch bad actors, despite being an active participant in boosting this industry itself. Local news reported that Jonte Porter's bets were flagged by one of the integrity companies hired by the leagues to identify unusual betting patterns. Now Porter is banned, a source told local news, and the NBA can claim they're upholding integrity by simply removing a rogue player who broke the rules. The sports betting market is projected to experience significant growth in the coming years. Financial services firm Goldman Sachs anticipates the industry expanding from its current value of $10 billion to a potential $45 billion. This upward trend aligns with the increasing legalization of sports betting across the United States. As of today, 38 states and the District of Columbia have legalized the practice, with further legalization anticipated due to the substantial tax revenue it generates. The increasing prevalence and accessibility of sports betting are likely to lead to greater exposure among the general public, including athletes. This could result in a rise in potential problems such as addiction, exploitation, and situations similar to the John Tay Porter case. Dr. Leah Nauer director of the Gambling Studies Center at Rutgers University, emphasizes this concern. As the percentage of the population who gamble increases, so too will the percentage of athletes who gamble and potentially develop gambling-related problems. Nauer notes that athletes in particular are more susceptible to developing problem gambling habits because they have a higher likelihood of betting on sports, which is tied to more problem gambling. Additionally, she says athletes as a group are more open to risk-taking and competitiveness, and they might believe they're better at making wagers because of their background. As the world of sports continues to grapple with the complexities of legalized sports betting, the John Tay Porter scandal serves as a stark reminder of the potential dangers that can arise when the lines between competition and profit blur. While responsible gambling practices and industry regulations can help mitigate risks, it is crucial to remain vigilant in safeguarding the integrity of the games we love. Your thoughts on this scandal and the future of sports betting are valuable. Join the conversation in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful videos. Until next time, stay informed and engaged in the world of sports.